In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of tools that help with eye contact and the camera. Okay, most of you probably are aware that my videos, like what I'm doing right now, is unscripted. I just do this off the cuff and just talk as if I'm talking to another person. And that works well for shorter concepts that I'm trying to convey. Where it becomes challenging is that, you know, a lot of times my clients are looking for a script to be approved and then read on screen. And I am just not good at memorizing content. So uh, again, it's easy for me right now because this is all unscripted, but I wanted to look at a few tools uh, and look at the cost of these AI tools for one thing, but also how effective they are at taking my eyeballs, which might be looking over here and make it look like they're looking at the camera. Let's take a look at a few of them. Okay, to help with this process, I need to record a short video from a script. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now I'm looking at you, but I'm gonna be looking here to read the script and capture exactly what has been scripted here. So let's go ahead. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? Okay, so that's what we'll use, and I will cut out that clip and we'll upload it to these services and see how each one of them does. Okay, here's the first service I've selected to take a look at here. It's called Descript. If you go to their website without logging in, let me just do a quick Google search and take me to the official site here. One of the features that they talk about is the eye contact AI feature. So I'm logged in now, obviously with my free plan. Let's start a new project, a new video project. I'm gonna upload that little clip I recorded previously in this video here. There it is there. And it's only about 22 seconds long here. So let's just say your transcript will be ready in a few minutes. So that's my video there. Let's try the eye contact feature here. Oh, it wants me to upgrade. Let's click upgrade now and see what the option is. So I can go with $24 per month if I sign up for a annual subscription. <laughs> if I sign up for an annual subscription, or I can do $39 per month. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to want this. So let's stick with monthly for right now, and we'll go with that for right now here. All right, so I've entered my credit card information, and we should be good to go in a second or two. Hey, we're all set there, perfect. So let's go back here. Let's click on that first project. So this is the source video. Let's see, how do I do this? Sometimes understanding these tools is the challenge. Okay, so under Underlord, which I guess is their AI tool, there's the eye contact feature there. Let's preview it. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? Uh, it seems okay. I mean, uh, it, it definitely is more eye contact. But let's go ahead and export this. The other service, and I've, to, I've used this service before. So let's take a look at this here. I'm going to create a new project in veed.io. We will upload our files. So far, the user interface is a little bit more pleasant than what Descript is. And uh, it's under Magic Tools, if I remember correctly. And we'll go to Eye Contact. Okay, so I've corrected in veed.io. One of the things I noticed and I noticed this the last time I used this as well, is that my eye color seems off. 
I can live with that if it gives me the results I'm looking for. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? So for those of you that don't want to use a full service, you can download this. However, it looks like there's going to be that VED watermark and it won't be full HD, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and select MP4 and I will save this as VED eye contact feature. We'll save that there. So there's another one. Again, at first glance, my eye color is wrong. I know my eye color well. I could live with that because most people don't know my eye color. It, I'm more of a hazel. This almost looks like a, a greenish tinge to it, but that's fine. Now here's another service. Um, so the next one I'm going to try is Big View. I've signed up for an AI Pro free trial, which ends in three days. So I should be able to try out this feature and see how well it does. So I'm going to choose the eye contact fix. It immediately asks for a video. So I'm going to use that same source video I've used before now. And we'll upload this. It's transcoding the video. It looks like it's just transcoded my video without making any changes. And now it's creating what it calls take two which I'm assuming is the version of the video with the eye contact corrected for the camera. Okay, so we're just past the 25% on big view. My hope is that this is the best one because it sure is taking its sweet time to do this AI eye contact correction. Okay, it looks like it's done. Let's take a look. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? <laughs> okay, well, I will say this. The accuracy of my eye color is better. And uh, so far, I like this one probably better than Descript or Veed. But there's another option to look at as well. So let's take a look at Projects Captions from Captions.ai here. And uh, we will upload a video. Again, we'll choose our video that I prepared before. And we'll just proceed with English at this point here. All right, so the video's uploaded. We'll select that here. Eye contact will turn on and it's correcting eye contact as we speak. Okay, well, let's see what this looks like. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? Okay, so for both Big View and Captions.ai, I would say, first of all, my eye color is more accurate in these. There were some artifacts that because I know this AI process is occurring, I spot those things. I'm pretty sure that if you didn't tell me that I had corrected my, my sight line, my eye contact for these videos, you probably wouldn't know. I think with, with Veed, if you knew me well enough to know my eye color, you would spot that the eye color is off. And uh, same thing with this script as well. I found that that just wasn't quite right. Close, but not quite. And I'm going to mention one more. I, I went with this here because the NVIDIA broadcast app works with my graphics cards. I happen to have a GeForce NVIDIA graphics card that's compatible with this. And this essentially creates a virtual camera that you can access from tools such as Camtasia or 
uh, OBS studio and things like that. And it on the fly corrects for that eye contact thing. But I'm going to insert a video at this point that I captured. I can't quite use the same video that I used for the others, but I'll record something and you'll get a chance to see what that looks like. Quite frankly, I'm not going to recommend the NVIDIA broadcast app. It is, for this purpose anyway, not suitable. And I think you'll see why when you watch the video. Memorizing a script seems easy until you actually try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. And the more you try, the worse it gets. Then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? So for me, I would have to say that captions.ai and bigview.tv are tied for number one. I suppose if I ran both over a long period of time, one might come out ahead of the other. Next is Descript in second. The color of my eyes wasn't right, but Veed was worse. I'll put NVIDIA Broadcast in fourth, but I would only consider using it if there was no budget for this technology. Pricing does change the story a little. Captions.ai comes out on top with requiring a pro plan for only $9.99 a month. I didn't do a deep dive to find out if Captions.ai has some capability or limits that the other tools have, but the price is very compelling. Next, Big View TV runs you $19 per month, but requires that you pay for a year in advance. The script is $24 per month, and Veed is $29, but also requires a year in advance. I kept NVIDIA Broadcast at the bottom because the quality doesn't justify the savings for me. Finally, I'll point out that each of these services does a whole bunch of other things, which certainly will affect the price. If you are looking for a suite of AI video features, you should conduct your own research and see what comes out on top for you. Let's take one more look at the four videos side by side. Memorizing a script seems easy until you try it. You read it, repeat it, then poof, it's gone. Your brain just deletes it like a bad email. The more you try, the worse it gets. And then there's the pressure. The camera's rolling. You're almost there. Wait, what was I saying again? If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.